In this example, we are going to take the derivative of f of x, which is the quantity of 6x squared plus 4 raised to the third power times the quantity of negative 8x squared minus 4 raised to the 10th power. Now, for this example, we're going to have to use the product rule. We're going to have to use uh, the power rule. And we're going to have to use the chain rule. This is definitely an example where you're going to have to use um, all three of those. So what I want you to look at first, so look at this as function g. Look at this, we'll call that h. This is the product rule. But when I take the individual derivatives of g and h, when I use that, I'm going to have to use the power rule because I'll have to bring the 3 down in front and the 10 down in front and decrease that power by 1, and I'll have to use the chain rule because I have a composition function here where I have an inner function. So we're going to start with the product rule, and then when we do the individual functions, g and h, to find the derivatives, that's when we're going to use the power rule and the chain rule. So let's start by writing this out. When I do the product rule, I take the derivative of g times h, and then I add that to the derivative of h times g. All right, so we first have to find the derivative of g. If I look at just g, which is the quantity of 6x squared plus 4 all raised to the third power, we're going to use the power rule, so I'm going to bring the 3 down in front, and then the inside, your base, stays the same, and then I decrease my exponent by 1, but then I also have to use the chain rule here and multiply by the derivative of what's inside because I have a composition function, I have that inner function. So when I take the derivative of 6x squared plus 4 and multiply that, I get 12x. 6x squared would give me the 12x, but the 4 would give me a derivative of 0. And then I have to multiply by my h function, which is negative 8x squared minus 4 all raised to the 10th power. Now I'm going to take that and add. Now I'm going to do the derivative of h. The same way I did the derivative of g, I'm going to use the power rule and the chain rule. So I'm going to bring the 10 down in front. My base, or that inner function, is going to stay the same. I'm going to decrease my exponent by 1, but I have to multiply by the derivative of what's inside because we have this inner function here, because we have composition functions. Now, when I take the derivative and multiply it, the derivative of negative 8x squared minus 4 is just going to be negative 16x because the derivative of negative 8x squared is negative 16x, and the derivative of negative 4, since it's a constant, is going to be 0. And then I still have to multiply that by the g function, which is 6x squared plus 4 all raised to the third. So right here is my derivative of g. This is my h. And I add the derivative of h times g. Now that is a huge mess to have to expand and simplify. So if you look at the directions, you'll see in the directions for this question on XYZ, it says do not expand. We're not going to worry about writing out things to the power of 10 and 9 and do all the combination of like terms. We're not going to worry about that. Just enter your answer in just like this. Just be careful when you put it in because it is messy. Just double check that you're putting in everything correctly.